Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat and welcome to my video on how to in Google Keep. Use the menu on the right hand side to help navigate through this video. At any time hit the home button to get back to this so you could pick a different topic if you want. If you like what you see, please subscribe. So first of all, where do you even find Google Keep? Well, just like all your other Google apps, just go once you're logged in to your, your account, uh, just go up to the nine little squares up top, click on it, and what you need to do, because it doesn't automatically come onto the first uh, page, you're going to hit more and then even more from Google. At this point, just kind of scroll down a little bit and then you'll see home and office and the last one on the list here is Google Keep. So once I open this up, I'm going to switch account because right now it defaulted to a different account. Uh, I have, a, have an example in a different account. And then, so this is the count I'm going to use. So if I click on my uh, nine little tab, my nine little squares again, you can see that Google Keep is here. That's because I've added a shortcut. What will happen, it will actually, if you open it up, it will ask you if you want to add a shortcut and then it will kind of save you that step from uh, further on and keep it, uh, keep it there so nice and quick to get to. So first of all, I just want to show you how easy it is to create a uh, note. So I'm just going to uh, type in this one and say, for example, and I'll give it a couple of points. This is very easy. Anyone can do this. All right, so just a couple of points and I can hit done. And you can see it's over here, just pops up, for example, with the title. Uh, but I can go back and edit this in a few different ways. So I could uh, go back and change the color of this and I'll just quickly change it to, let's go with a yellow. And let's say I wanted this to be a checklist, so I can just go back to this. I'm just going to click on it, and I'm going to click under the three little dots here in a vertical line and just go to show checkboxes and hit done again. And you can see um, at this point I can click and it will uh, cross out, strike through the, to show the example that if I'm done. So that's how easy it is uh, to create one, even to turn it into a checklist. I can also set a reminder on this. So if I have a certain task I want done by a certain time, I can set my reminder and it will show up down here and it will remind me when that needs to be uh, done. So uh, those are just how some easy things, how easy it is to create uh, a new note. The other thing you can add into this is also an image. So I'm just gonna quickly grab an image from my uh, desktop and this will go with my theme with Vader's, uh, Vader's uh, meditation chamber. So I'll just hit done and you can see that it gets inserted right away. I can also drag these around if I want to position them differently. Very easy uh, to move. So that's how easy it is to create a note uh, within Google Keep. And then I'm going to show you a few more things. Google Keep has some great searching capabilities and it's very easy to use. Just go up to the top here where it says search Google Keep and if you select uh, the down arrow, uh, you could uh, select a certain color. Uh, for example, if I picked red and it will show me my red one. So if you know how you have them all uh, categorized into different colors, you can just search by the color. I'll just hit the X and go back. Uh, you could also search uh, by audio if you have audio in there. You could search by only the uh, ones that have uh, the images, any of the ones that have a reminder, which I don't in that case, or any of the ones shared. Uh, you could also uh, just type in uh, the different uh, things you're looking for and it will find it too. So one thing you can do if you, if you end up with you having a lot of notes is you can start to add labels. So for instance, in this one, I've kind of put in a few different ones here. If I look over here on this ideas for apprentice, you can see this little thing down here that I've added is a label. So if I typed in students, you can see right away, it's already coming up. I didn't even have to uh, uh, finish it because based on that, uh, label, it can search it. So it's really easy to add a label too. So if I was going to, for instance, click on this image here that I have, it was some lightsaber dueling. All I'd have to do is click down here and you can see it has add label. So I could click add label. I could make my categories of label if I wanted to um, add a new one. If I called this training and then just hit enter, 
and then hit done, you'll be able to see that this has a label here. So if you do find yourself getting uh, to have a lot of notes where it's harder to manage, add a few labels so the searching capabilities make it easier and easier to find the specific note you're looking for. One of my favorite feature in Google Keep is the share feature, and it's very easy to use. I like to use it in the classroom when I have a certain to-do list. I can push it out to a certain student or groups of students uh, in, inside their Google Keep. Then they'll get a list that they can check off, and then I get the updates on my screen to see where they are during the during the day or you know even the week, and I can set reminders on it too. So let me show you how easy this is to do. So all we have to do is like, let's say on this one, this Death Star to-do list here. So I'm just gonna uh, go and uh, set, uh, go to my share here and you can see who the owner is right here. And at this point, I wanna share it with somebody to help me with the list. So I'm just gonna type in moff.tarkin. Hit the check mark over here. I can see his image comes up here and hit save and hit done. So I can see by the little image at the bottom here that this note is shared with this person and they have access uh, to edit also. So the one thing is you can't give them only view, uh, they have actually edit on it. So uh, once you see this image at the bottom, that tells you it's shared. So that's how easy it is to share one little note inside Google Keep. The last thing I want to show you about is the OCR, Optical Character Recognition, and how to copy to Google Docs. So I'm going to show use this picture as an example right here. So I'm just going to open this up. This is just an image here of a um, for battling with lightsabers. And I want to take this text, copy it, and turn it into uh, something I can edit. So all you need to do inside your Google Note, whatever one you open to, is just go to Grab Image Text. And you can see right away that this text uh, pretty accurately is brought right over down below. So at this point, you can actually copy this right over to Google Docs too. So all you need to do is uh, open up, hit those three little dots, and at the bottom, you got copy to Google Doc. Click on it, and you can see it's copying to Google Doc. Uh, at this point, I can just hit open Doc, and then I have it inside a Google Doc if I need to edit it from here or any further. So uh, any of these notes that I have here in my Google Keep can be copied over to Google Doc. Uh, the OCR actually, you could use a handwriting or printing, but I find every time I've tried it, I never get it um, quite, uh, quite accurately. So, uh, but when it comes to a font that is a kind of a, of a real font that you take a picture of, uh, it does work uh, quite well for that. So that's how OCR and copying over to Google Doc works.